Hi, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have seen how to implement the sorting using Spring Data JPA and we have basically seen how to sort by single field. In this lecture, we'll see how to implement sorting by multiple fields using Spring Data JPA. Well, if you wish to apply sorting on multiple columns or group by sort, then that is also possible by creating a sort using simple builder pattern steps. For example, consider this is a code snippet over here and here you can see we are sorting with multiple fields for example sort by name sort by description okay so we are basically sorting these products by name and description and sort direction is descending okay so if you want to sort by multiple fields then you need to create a sort object like this you need to create one sort object for name and another sort object for description and then you need to group them by using and okay and then you need to pass this group by sort to the find all method all right it's pretty simple let's switch to the integer idea and let's see how to implement sorting by multiple fields using spring data gpa well go to again pagination and sorting test class and just go at the bottom okay and here just write the jna test case and within the JNA test case, we will implement sorting by multiple fields using Spring Data JPA. So let me write the method here, sorting by multiple fields. All right. And let's annotate this method with add test annotation. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to declare uh, variables here, string sort by equal to name all right and string sort by let's say description equal to description all right and let's have one more field that is sort direction okay sort direction let's say we are going to sort in a descending order all right so let me refactor this this should be capitulated now here we are basically sorting by two fields right name and description so we need to create a two sort instances for example let's first create one short object for name and we'll see how to create a one more short object for description let's say sort by name here and then based on the condition we need to get a sort object right so let's have a sort direction okay and then equals signal case and then sort dot direction dot ascending dot name okay let's say if sort direction is ascending then we need to return the sort object with the ascending api this should be sort dot by and then pass sort by and this should be ascending or else sort dot by and then pass sort by all right and then this should be a descending all right perfect so if sort direction is ascending then this sort instance will return and otherwise this sort object will be returned okay now we have created one sort object for name let's create another sort object for description so let me simply copy this and paste it here and let's call it as a sort by description all right and let's pause sort by description here and here too okay now we have two sort instances now we have to group these two objects let's say how to do it let's say sort and then group by sort and then let's have sort by name first and then call and method and make sure that you choose this and method it takes sort object so let's call this and and then pass sort by description that's it perfect right now let's have a list of type product and there should be products and then call product repository and then find all method and make sure that you choose this find all method which takes sort object and this find all method returns list of products 
and then you need to pass here this sort object that is group by sort all right now perfect now let's print products so let me print this products products dot for each method and then pass lambda expression over here all right let me put one sys out here and then print product perfect let me recap what we have done we have we have created these three instances name description and descending and then we have created one short object for name another short object for description and then we have grouped these two short objects and then we have simply passed to find all method and find all method returns list of products and that we have printed over here all right now let's go and let's run the JNU test case and let's see how this sorting logic works and there we go let's take a look at the output and there we go this is a hibernate generated sql query behind the scene select these columns from products table ordered by name in a descending description in a descending it means that the select sql query you know uh, generated correctly now let's see the result product 9 basically we are sorting products by name in a descending so 9, nine comes first here and then 8 7 and so on and here 15 should come first and then so on so on okay and product description also same right it means that the list of products are sorted uh, by name and description in a descending order all right so this is how basically we write a logic to sort by multiple fields using spring data gpa and again in real time project you will get these you know fields like sort by sort by direction sort by description so these call these fields values you will get from the client and then you need to write this kind of logic to implement sorting by multiple fields using spring data jpa well in next lecture we'll see how to implement pagination and sorting together all right great i will see you in the next lecture